What's up travelers, it's Eliz from Means to Travel and today is our first day out of quarantine here in the UK and we decided to wake up early at sunrise and walk to the beach. So as you can see, we're standing on the shore of the English Channel here and we're in Portsmouth. Behind me over here is the South Sea Pier and it's not open yet um, because it's so early in the morning. We decided that we were just gonna take a stroll along the beach and enjoy our freedom. So come along with us today as we explore the rest of Portsmouth. Let's go. How's the car? It's like 61 degrees outside. Um, it's not supposed to rain, so that's nice. But I'm bringing a little cap just in case. Obviously, I have my mask. And then it's not supposed to rain today, but here's some rain stuff for, uh, for tech gear just in case. All right, we're about to step outside for the first time as free people. It's like a whole new world. Okay, so we are off to try to capture the sunrise, but I can already tell you right now, it's looking like it might be a bust today. However, we're free people. <laughs> Place we can walk down the street. So cool. All right, see you guys. Sunrise on life. So this is our first time walking in a while. How's it going, babe? pretty quickly. I'm kind of curious what the over-under is on how many steps we're going to take today. I'm thinking 15,000. I'm thinking like 1,000 <laughs> to ease in. We've reached the sea. It's a different kind of beach than what we're used to. I feel like this is so much springier to walk on. Hey guys, checking in from the top of a hill overlooking the channel right now. Um, so we just walked along the South Sea like beach, esplanade, um, and then we're exploring this kind of fortress area. And behind me is a really cool lighthouse, but also South Sea Castle, which we don't know the exact history, but we believe we heard that it was built to kind of like fend off Napoleon back in the day. Um, but what's really cool is we have amazing lighting and we can see all of these old fortress buildings um, and then they've kind of turned it into a public park area there's like tennis courts over there people walking their dogs and if you walk all the way up there you can go to um, the Spinnaker Tower and a few of the old Portsmouth tourist sites to see so we're gonna be walking along there later today I think we're gonna go get breakfast first so let's go we ended up being wrong <laughs> It was not, the South Sea Castle was not built um, around the Napoleon times. Um, it was actually built by King Henry VIII. So if you see on this sign over here, um, it was built in 1544, so we were really off. But what is true is that it looks like there's free admission and there's a champagne bar and a microbrewery. So um, I'm liking this repurposing effort. I believe we're at a World War II memorial garden, um, specifically for, I think it's the Allied Victory Day. Yep, that's what the flowers said at least. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's been a beautiful morning, even though the sunrise was a little bit of a bust. Um, yeah. It's still, still nice. The temperature is really nice um, today. It's 
probably around 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Um, and for late it's September, little, I think that's pretty good. It's a little wet. Yeah, it's feeling. definitely humid in the air. My hands feel it and my hair feels it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so now we're just gonna go try to find some breakfast and uh, run a few errands before we go explore the town some more. Here we go. I love that colorful houses are such a staple to tell you that you're by the sea. These are so cute. I love especially this like turquoise one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need to return our Merrill shoes today. The ones that were the wrong size. And before we do that, we need to go to Tesco and look for some tape because we gotta tape up that box. And it gives us an opportunity to go see what Tesco's like around here. So let's do it. So we got brownie flavored milk. And we've got banana flavored milk. That's kind of cool. Found the eggs. No. We found it. It's right next to the meat section, of course. Car still tape. Okay, so we have the tape, we have our box, we're about to go return these things. And I'll say after the first morning of walking around in these shoes, I find them to be pretty comfortable. Um, but I will say these are definitely trail shoes, not hiking boots. And when we were down on the beach, it was a pretty rocky beach, and we found that it was kind of easy to like twist your ankle. So don't get these thinking that you're going to get a lot of ankle support. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, yep. <laughs> Okay, so we tried to take the shoes back, but the UPS access point drop-off place is not open. Um, Google Maps says it should be open, uh, but it's not, so we'll try another one after we grab a bite to eat. Hopefully at this really cool place called the Garage Lounge. It looks pretty sweet, it's so. It's becoming quite an adventure. <laughs> we'll check it out. All right, see you guys. So we're having breakfast or brunch, I don't know which one at this point, at the Garage Lounge. Um, I believe a friend of ours recommended it because I had it start on the map. It looks really good. Can't wait. Oh, I just got my mocha here at the garage lounge and I love that it has a little heart in it. But what I wanted to say is that um, I was able to order it with oat milk, which they were very like forward saying there's still dairy in the chocolate. I said that's fine. Um, I can handle it just a little bit. But what I like about Britain is that most of the places that serve like coffee options will have dairy free alternatives so they have like soy milk and oat milk here um, everybody's been really diligent about asking people to wear masks here um, if they're not you know seated at a table and they even took our number like phone number and name down for track and trace already when they took our order so we're feeling really good about our first kind of like outing out <laughs> since quarantine all right let's check in when the food comes Okay, so we just got our food. Um, we both got the same thing. It's the garage lounge breakfast, which is basically a modified English breakfast. It has a lot of the same things, um, but I believe it's, of course, missing the bread, uh, or sorry, the um, blood sausage. And yeah, we're uh, super hungry, so we're just going to eat. <laughs> All right, so we have struck out on the returning the shoes front today. Oh all, my gosh, it's like mission impossible. All of the uh, UPS locations here <laughs> seem to be closed today, so we will be trying tomorrow. Or like permanently closed? I don't understand. Yeah, this. so we're going to try again tomorrow. Maybe we take them to, with us to Brighton. Maybe we have to end up taking them to London for a return. I don't know. We'll see. The saga it's an adventure. Continues. Stay tuned. <laughs> hey guys. So checking in from Gun Wharf Quay, um, we just did a pretty long walk um, from our Airbnb, stopped and got some coffee at Pasta on our way here. They had the QR codes there that you can scan for the NHS and everything for track and trace, which was really cool that um, they've already got the implemented, even though that app's been available just a few days, which makes total sense. It was just cool to see it in action for the first time. Um, and then we've been walking along this harbor front. Oh my gosh, there's, first of all, nobody here, um, probably because it's like a Tuesday afternoon, but it's so beautiful and the weather is perfect. It's probably like 70 degrees Fahrenheit out right now. It's gorgeous out. Gorgeous. Um, and 
we're enjoying this awesome view of Spinnaker Tower and there's all these cool restaurants and they, there's a few pubs open that looked really um, enticing. <laughs> we'll we have a pint later though, some fish and chips. Yes, so now we have to go track down some fish and chips, but that's probably at the end of our journey. We're going to walk along the harbor front um, and along the coastline. Let's go. Okay, so we're on our way to um, a very old warship, and we thought we were just going to be crossing through um, more of the Gun Wharf Quay, but it ended up being like a major outdoor mall. Loads of stores. Krispy Kreme. <laughs> There's a Krispy Kreme for uh, fans of those. So yeah, um, that was, I don't know, that was different than what we were expecting and now we know where to go if we need anything. All right, let's go find this boat. Yay, so we found, we found the boat, uh, the HMS Victory. Um, I should probably not call it a boat because it's totally a warship. The historic dockyard, the Portsmouth historic dockyard is closed right now. We were a little late. But here, take a look at this view. It's low tide right now, so some of these <laughs> some of these boats are like. Check this one out. That one uh, is not seafaring at the moment, but this one is super cool. This is the HMS Victory. Then also here at this historic dockyard, I believe is the HMS Warrior. And um, another boat, what was it called? The Mary something, I'll put it um, down below. And that one had been sunk, I hear, and they were able to pull it out of the water and put it into the museum. So it'd have been cool to see, but maybe uh, some other time when we can make it down here again while we're still in Portsmouth. Right, so. We have stopped for, I have a half pint, but Derek's got a full pint at a bar right in this um, Gun Wharf Quay section uh, at the, the old customs house. And I got the draft cider half pint. And it's been so COVID friendly, which is great. They um, had us order from this QR code right here. Um, and it opened up the menu on an app and then we ordered it via the app. The woman who came out and gave us our drinks had a mask on and had us take the drinks off of the tray. Um, and everybody's totally socially distanced. You can see they sat those people two tables away. So it's felt really reassuring. Um, and it's just nice to rest my legs right now. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am in so much pain. And I don't think it's because my shoes are brand new. I think it's that my legs haven't worked in two weeks. <laughs> like, they haven't done anything. I feel like I can barely walk. I feel like I'm kind of half limping a little bit. And I just need to, like, really do some stretches, I think, when we get back because this is not going to be okay for the rest of our trip. Um, so, yeah, wish me luck. This is, I guess, a lesson learned. I've never been in quarantine before, so I didn't know that this would be a thing. And I should have assumed, you know, people that are bedridden, they kind of have to ease into walking. They shouldn't take 20,000 steps the day after, <laughs> like, they're out of it. So, yeah, um, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to be able to walk. We'll see. Anyway, um, cheers to you guys. Talk to you soon. Hey, guys. It's the end of the day. And we are at a pub for dinner called the Wine Vault. And it's on Albert Road here in South Sea in the Portsmouth area. Um, and I ended up ordering a vegan, or no, sorry, a vegetarian burger. And it's fried, which is so interesting. I've never had this before and I'm super excited about it. Um, just to see what it's like. It said it was Southern fried. So I don't know if that's like Southern American or what. Absolutely massive. Um, but then we also have some chips, and I asked for extra ketchup. They brought um, one packet of ketchup for both of us. 
Um, and then I apologize for being so American when I did. Um, Derek, what did you get? I got the fish finger sandwich. Um, but then I ended up getting a white wine with mine, um, and Derek got a cask ale, I believe. So we are going to dig in. We are exhausted. We are at about 24,000 steps for the day. Um, and my legs are killing me, so I cannot wait to take a hot shower and go to sleep tonight. All right, so we're just leaving the wine vaults now. I hope you guys enjoyed coming around with us today on our first full day here in Fort Smith. If you liked this travel vlog, we're gonna be doing a ton more as we explore the UK over the next three months. So definitely press that red subscribe button down below if you wanna follow along on our journey. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up below too. Thanks everybody for watching. Cheers, happy travels. Bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.